Good to see you guys. 28 years pounding the same gig. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Yeah, so they, they promote my show, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so what I want to talk about tonight is why are your friends so annoying? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. These are the people you have picked to be with. <laughs> You're like these people, and yet everything that they do, you're never going to the right restaurant. You got, you got to go. It's so great, great restaurant. <laughs> and I don't even like the great restaurants. I don't want to hear the specials. If they're special, put them on the menu. <laughs> I don't want any auditioning foods. When they make the real show, then I will eat it. <laughs> and they, they explain to you how it's made. You know, which I, and I don't know, you know, they say cilantro and you have to pretend. Like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell me how you made it. I can't cook. That's why I came in here, okay? <laughs> I don't care how you make it. The meal takes two and a half hours and your ass hurts by the end of it. It's not half as good as any Pop Tart you ever had in your life anyway. <laughs> the Pop Tart, by the way was a moment in time when they invented, and I think Tom Brokaw tonight is going to be talking about the baby boom, and I am of that era, and when I was, I was about eight, they invented the Pop-Tart, the back of my head blew right off. <laughs> right? Do you remember? Like, what? I was, I was in the supermarket aisle with my mother, and I'm like, hold it, hold up, hold everything. <laughs> the hell is that? <laughs> Fruit filled frosted rectangles in a box, the same, sh the food is in the shape of the box. What is this? <laughs> you, you open the box, they're not even in there, they're in packets. Remember the packets lined with some kind of metallic alloy from NASA to protect them from gamma rays and Russian satellites <laughs> might shoot at your brown sugar cinnamons. You had to protect the... And you open the packet. How many were in the packet? Two. Why two? One's not enough. Three is too many. That's why. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> perfect vision of the future from Kellogg's. Two in each packet. Two slots in the toaster. <laughs> so you're eight years old, and you're like, I can do this. <laughs> the toaster companies are in on it, too. <laughs> I never had that excitement at the grave. I don't want to go to the restaurants my friends want me to go, and I don't want their phone. Everybody I know wants you should get my phone. Why don't you get that? <laughs> what kind of phone do you have? This, you should have this phone. <laughs> and all my pretentious show business friends with their iPhone. This, I'm so sick of this. Okay, I get it. Can you do this with your phone? No, I can't. I take my phone, I do that with it, okay? That's what I got. So my wife is on the Blackberry now. Oh, the Blackberry people, yes, I know you're here. <laughs> yes. I'm surprised you're even paying attention to this. <laughs> they pay attention to nothing. They walk around holding the Blackberry <laughs> because that is what Blackberry commands them to do. You keep me out. I want to see what's going on. And you try and talk. You notice their eyes are just like, they're like wooden doll eyes. Or they just, and they're, they're always, you're trying to talk to them, but they're not really there. <laughs> it 
Or they do that creepy head down thing on you. Uh huh. <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> do we even know what rudeness is in this culture anymore? Can I just pick up a magazine, hold it in front of your face, and read it while you're talking? <laughs> is that what we're doing now? So well, anyway, so she gets the Blackberry, she uses it in the car, he brings it in the house. The other night I found it in the bed. <laughs> she was gone, me and the Blackberry. <laughs> I tried to smother it with another pillow, but it doesn't use oxygen. <laughs> a couple of days later, she found it in the bottom of a bowl of yogurt. Oh, it said Blackberry, I guess I got confused. <laughs> Thank you very much. Strong, very, very strong. Very Seinfeld, everybody. And oh my goodness! What a treat! This is a great crowd. Well, I want to tell you something. They're great. They were, uh, they were, they were uh, good for me when I came out here, and then when you came out here, oh my God, it was like a concert. I feel like we were at a public, uh, a personal appearance. It was Thank tremendous. Well, it very was. strong. Thank you. Very strong. I, I feel like I did personally appear. Yeah, you here. did. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Uh, but the material, just, just great. And I'm Thank trying you. to think when the last time you were on the show. It hasn't been so many uh, months, has it? No, uh, a, year or, a so? year or so. Yeah, well, yeah. you should come on more often and do that. Because, okay. Because Lord Can knows... I do the same thing over and over? Yes. <laughs> I do. I do the same Thank thing. You. It's very nice of you to invite me. Now, uh, tell us about the uh, the kids, because I, I uh, although I'm older than you are, I look up to you in terms of fatherhood, because oh, you were a, a father before I was a well, father. you know, but it's... You have three children. Uh, I have three, nine, boys. nine, seven, and four. Mm -hmm. give, mm -hmm. us, give us the rundown. How's that going? Pretty good. Yeah. Um, now, fatherhood, as you probably, you may not have formed the thought, but you know that the kids, they don't, they don't really get what you're doing there. Right. You know, the mom is really there. She's giving them what they need emotionally and all their needs. And dad is just around, and they're trying to figure out, well, and what do we need this person for exactly? Mm -hmm. And uh, it, so now I'm starting to talk to them about what I do mm -hmm. and a little bit, but it was years into their lives like that I, I could see them looking at me like they were going to come over and say, I'm sorry, is someone helping you? you know. <laughs> Uh-huh. Now, your son, your son, Harry, he's six. Six, that's correct. Now, is he, are you seeing any comedic inclinations from him? Y well, uh, depends on what you mean by comedic. Uh, I mean funny? I, well, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I see him kind of mirroring some of the stupid things I do. That's yes. what I want to talk yes, about. Yes, yeah. And, and you probably have it now from all three. No, my daughter seems, which is weird because, you know, it's your daughter. You don't think she's going to be the... But she has a comedian... Well, she does me, and it's odd. You know, I mean, the first time I said to her... I'm not, this is a, not a made-up story for a talk show, but it, it sounds like mm -hmm. it. I, I said to her, Let's, you know, her name is Sasha. I said, Sasha, come on, we're, we're having dinner now. She goes, oh, like I didn't know that. <laughs> Well, and I thought, oh, okay, <laughs> so the cranky sarcasm gene <laughs> yes. is going to be moving along. <laughs> it must be a, a bit of a shock when that happens. It is a shock, yeah. and like she's reading joke books, and we were riding in the car one day. She's in the back of the car, and she goes, uh, this was a few years ago. She's nine now. She was six. Mm. She says to me, you know, Dad, I really like making people laugh. Oh. That's, and I went... Oh, I know the feeling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, uh, uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, fatherhood, uh, so much of it is guesswork. Mm -hmm. But, but they're also, I think, we're guided by instincts, somewhat. S somewhat. I think in the male, it's, it's, there's very few, mm -hmm. you know. Um, <laughs> I think the only two male uh, fatherhood instincts are the announcement of the return to the home. <laughs> All fathers have this urge to create a very momentous occasion. You know, daddy's home. <laughs> yeah. This will change everything. Yeah, that's right. <laughs>
Banks are closed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like in the male mind, you think family members are going to drop to their knees and weep at their good fortune. <laughs> that... And of course, you know, they, you expect them to be excited, but they don't get excited because they know once your jacket is off, that concludes your involvement with anyone <laughs> or anything in the house. <laughs> All mom, all mom hears from the kids all day is, where's your, where's your father? Mm -hmm. where, that's all they, the mother's constantly, where is he? No one can find dad. He's just, <laughs> he's under the car, he's in the shed. Where is he? he we saw him at the wedding. Where is your father? <laughs> 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 at the wedding. Oh, yeah. my. Uh, but, but now you uh, are, and I are in similar uh, positions. I, I'm older, of course, but uh, as you grow older, does it change your perspective of, about having the kids? Well, yeah, I mean... I mean, it's kind of part of what I was talking about, the annoyance. I mean, here, living here in New York, you got to go to this place, and, that, and I don't want to do anything mm -hmm. anymore. Right. When I was in your 20s, you want to do everything. In your 30s, there's a couple things you don't want to do. In your 40s, there's a couple things you still want to do. Mm -hmm. And now I just, you know, whatever it is, I'm not interested. I'm just, you know. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Just a you know, blank. I'm not going, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But, I mean, uh, nonetheless, you, you lead a full, rich, productive life. I mean, you're traveling around mm -hmm. doing your comedy. You've created this show on another network, but you've created a show. I created a yeah, show. This is your partly second show because, for that other network. Partly because of you. You. Yeah. Like, because I, cause didn't you, you did the Raymond show, right? And I kind of thought, well, how did he do that? Yeah, well, I had nothing to do with it. You that. did? <laughs> no, I just waited for the checks. That's... <laughs> That's, that's all I did. <laughs> but you, right in there, you built this thing from ground up. From the ground up. And the thing I like about this thing is that it's, uh, it, it's kind of an invention. And I kind of miss the uh, 60s Tonight Show thing of when celebrities kind of hung out on these shows. Mm -hmm. And they weren't promoting and right. they were just kind of talking. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I wonder if you could recreate that using the subject of marriage which I have found over the years is just kind of draws people out. People just have opinions. And I like, I like marriage troubles. Mm. I find I, them I know what you're am, talking amusing. about. Yes. Yeah, well, uh, not in my shoes. But... Uh, no. No. Um, but I have to tell you. <laughs> but I, I know what you're saying. I have to tell saying. you, Dave. The worse it is for you, the better it is for us. <laughs> well, okay, as long as we I'm serving some, ball. some purpose. <laughs> but yeah. I, but I, I know what you mean. I mean. It's such a common denominator, and it's great fodder for conversation. Mm -hmm. So that's the basis for the show. That's the basis and, and talk show. about uh, the, the people that you get on the program. I saw the first one. It was you, of course. Mm -hmm. It was Alec Baldwin. Mm -hmm. It was Kelly uh, Ripa. Mm -hmm. And it was... it was Tom Pop was our host. That's right. Yeah, and and, and you know who show. else is on the damn show? Marv Albert. Marv Albert. Yeah. Wow. Makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say that, but it's... Yeah, no, but... It, it's we, Because it's a sports mm -hmm. kind of theme. So what if marriage could be like sports? That was mm -hmm. really where right, we started. Right. And, and, and uh, it's, it's uh, niggling problems. It's, it's not, uh, not structural problems. Uh, no, nothing Little big. Differences. Nothing yeah. big. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple on, we're shooting a show tonight, actually, that'll be on next week, where there's a couple, and the husband wants to move to Hollywood. The, hus the wife wants to move to Hollywood. The husband wants to move to Amish country. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, there's not a lot of overlap no, there, you no, know? No, not really. No. <laughs> we thought we might send him to Branson as a prize, you know? <laughs> a little bit but of both. Doesn't Disneyland have an Amish country? Isn't that part of the theme park deal? Uh, the program, The Marriage Ref, premieres uh, tomorrow night on another network. On another, who knows? Yeah, who yeah, take yeah. a guess where that might be. <laughs> uh, the always great Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry, thank Thanks, you very Dave. much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you.